Hello everybody, welcome to a new Bug Bounty Bytes. Today I'm going to be showing you PHP injection. So what's going to happen is I'm going to uh, go to this web page. This is a uh, web. This is an extremely buggy web application created by somebody to uh, teach you how to hack. So I'm going to uh, go to the PHP code injection page, down my bug list. PHP code injection, blah, 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 there we go. Start a hack, and I'm going to set my security level to low. Now I'm going to walk you guys through all of the security levels, and you're going to see that some security levels don't work, and I'm going to be telling you why as well. So let's dive right into it. As you can see, we have a little hint right here. This is a test page re reflecting back your message. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to assume that since this is PHP, and since they are reflecting my message, I'm just going to try the parameter message. Now, as you can see, I already tried it a few times. I already got some results. And as you can see, if I uh, add a parameter message. It reflects the value of my parameter. Now, what PHP code injection is all about is injecting your own functions into the PHP code that's running on the server. So you can get uh, information from the background. For example, what I'll do is I'll get the PHP info. And when I give this message, um, as you can see, all the PHP info is displayed on this page. Of course, that is not in the intention. This is not supposed to happen. Um, and that's, that's pretty much PHP code injection. For those of you who wanted to know that, you can switch off now because it's not going to get a whole lot interesting. I'm going to set this thing to medium right now. And once again, oh, by the way, what I also want to give you guys, when you click on this, uh, it actually directs you to the message parameter, but I wanted to give you guys one way to guess the parameters. Um, another would be to brute force them. Uh, I don't like brute forcing myself, but to each this one. So um, I'm going to try the same here. And as you can see, this won't work. When I set my security level to medium or even high, um, the web application is not vulnerable to PHP code injection. And I'm going to be show you guys as, uh, why this happens as well. First of all, I'm going to be setting my uh, security level to medium again. And I'm going to do the same PHP code injection again, so PHP info. And then I'm going to copy this for a second. So uh, we're going to go to the source code right now. And as you can see, this is the source code of the page, phpi.php. I'm going to go back again, localhost slash phpi.php. So in the source code, you can see if the security uh, level is not medium or high, this is the code that gets executed. So what happens is um, you get your opening text for PHP and you execute your eval function. Now, PHP eval function is actually something that you should never throw user input into. This is something that can execute the user input uh, in any way, shape, or form. So when I input a command in here, as you can see, it starts with echo, and then it starts um, putting out your request message, and then uh, it evaluates that whole function. And the evaluation pretty much tells it to execute anything that it finds inside of this function. When you set the security level to medium or high, this is no longer possible because the eval function is replaced by a PHP echo and then HTML special characters. This special character, this HTML special characters function also filters out um, the less than and greater than signs. So cross-site scripting also becomes a lot harder, if not impossible, when you use the HTML special characters tag. So that's pretty much what PHP code injection is all about. It's not as hard as you may think. Looking for it is hard, uh, but if you uh, see a PHP function and you know how to test automatically for all the functions, you could just include a PHP info command into your script. Uh, and that way you can check your results and see if uh, the PHP info gets reflected in the automated tests. And it is also a good way to check for PHP code execution. When you en encounter this issue in the wild, do not just leave it at a PHP info, of course. You can do a lot more like local file inclusion. You can do uh, a reverse shell to get remote code execution this way. But I'll be going more into depth in that later. 
first I want to finish my bug bounty bit series and I have a few more things I want to show you guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like. Share this video with your friends. Uh, it helps a lot. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.